Before we begin, I'd like to mention the recent death of fellow toy reviewer Glenn Webb. While I did not know him personally, I considered him to be one of the most entertaining action figure reviewers on YouTube, and I will miss him and his content greatly. If you would like to support his family and friends in their time of mourning, please visit GoFundMe.com slash RememberingGlenn. And if you're not familiar with Glenn, or just want to watch some of his remaining content, visit YouTube.com slash GlennWebman69. The following video was recorded before his death, and therefore my mood was unaffected. So now, if you can, do try to enjoy the review. Thank you. Hello, and welcome to VR Reviews. Today I'll be reviewing the Power Rangers Legacy Collection Green Ranger. So yes, here we have the relatively recent release of the Green Ranger from the new Power Rangers Legacy Collection, which is a new Bandai line of uh, more affordable and American-released Power Rangers figures that are extremely well-articulated and overall just great figures. If you didn't ever get on the figure arts bandwagon and now are too uh, cost-saving to want to pick those up, these are a great alternative. Now let's go ahead and zoom in for the articulation, sculpt, paint, details, all those sorts of things. Alright, starting off with a quick size comparison, of course here we have our Green Ranger. Here's our standard Marvel Legends 6 inch Cosmic Armor Iron Man and 3 and 3 quarter inch Marvel Universe Wolverine. These Power Rangers figures are actually a little bit taller than your standard American 6 inch scale figure, which is a bit interesting, and they are of course much bigger than a 3 and 3 quarter inch figure, but I still think they'll work with your American 6 inch scale stuff if that's what you want them for. Now let's get everything else out of here and just look at the Green Ranger. Alright, moving on to our 360 spin, here you can see the Green Ranger, of course, as you would expect, he is mostly green with gold accenting, of course his dragon shield is gold with a little bit of black accenting, he's got the gold bands around his arms, white gloves and boots with a little fringe pattern on them, of course he has his belt buckle there with proper detailing. All in all, it is a pretty much accurate depiction of the Green Ranger. The only things I can really see to complain about is they probably added a bit of unnecessary muscle detail to the chest, and the uh, little runes on the dragon shield should actually be filled in black and they are not. But other than that, I think he looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead and zoom in on his head sculpt. Head sculpt wise, the Green Ranger's helmet is done pretty well. It is mostly green, it's got the black eyes on top, the little red gem there, black visor with the mouth sculpting around that, and then he has his uh, silver painted mouth. For the most part, it looks pretty much accurate, except for the sculpted on teeth, they should be painted silver. But other than that, it looks pretty good, and it's not a massive complaint. Now let's go ahead and zoom out and look at some articulation. Articulation-wise, the Green Ranger is very good. Ball disc in the head, that goes forward and back, side to side. Ball joint shoulders move in and out, forward and back, bicep cut, double jointed elbows, forearm rotation. Wrist, hinge, and rotation. He has a nice abdominal joint. Waist cut. Hips go in and out, forward and back. Thigh cut. Double jointed knees. Boot rotation. And hinge and pivoting in the ankles. So you should be able to get him into pretty much any pose you really want to. Now let's go ahead and look at some accessories. Accessories wise, the Green Ranger comes with a couple of pairs of hands. He comes with some standard holding hands, and they have all the proper sculpted detail on those. And then he comes with some slightly uh, positional holding hands for playing his Dragon Dagger. Then he comes with said Dragon Dagger, which for the most part is really nicely painted and sculpted, and certainly looks like the Dragon Dagger, and he can hold it in perfect flute playing position, pretty much. He also comes with this simple black scabbard to put the dagger in, which hooks into his waist. And then he comes with the Sword of Darkness, the sculpt of which is pretty much spot on, although it is missing the tassel at the bottom, but the paint's not quite right. It should have some black accenting towards the bottom of the blade, and the uh, handle should be sort of whitish kind of cream color. But for the most part, it's pretty good as well. Now that wraps it up for the Green Ranger and all of his accessories, so let's move on to the packaging. Packaging wise, you get a pretty standard sort of hanging windowed box. Uh, Saban's Power Rangers includes two exclusive accessories picture of the Green Ranger down there, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers logo, Legacy Collection Green Ranger along the side. 
On the back, you get a picture of the build of figure Megazord, which he does not actually come with a piece of, as well as pictures of all the other original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and the figures that are actually available at the moment, which are the red and green Ranger from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and the blue, yellow, and red Ranger from some other Power Rangers that isn't Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I'm not sure which one that one is, because I don't know. So, yeah. I feel like I will undoubtedly get all the rest of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, so I will review those as I get them. As is usually the case with windowed boxes, these are good for in or out of package display. So yeah, Green Ranger. Alright, that wraps it up for the Green Ranger, so until next time, goodbye! Thanks for watching one of my videos. If you enjoyed it, feel free to like the video or subscribe if you would like to see my future content. If not, run away. Run away and never return. Also. Feel free to support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash vrreviews, follow me on Twitter at venomraptor09, or follow me on Instagram at instagram.com slash vrreviews. Thank you, and goodbye.